All right, this is uh, functions type one. Yesterday we kind of had an overview of functions, what they were and their purpose. Um, we're going to look at type one functions today. Um, type one functions are functions where nothing is sent to it or passed to the function, no data, and nothing's returned back to where it was called. So again, remember for all functions, you need to do three things in C++. You need to declare them, write them, and use them. To declare a type one function, Right, and this goes before void main void. Uh, we say the keyword void, it, whatever we name it. Remember, the names are the same rules as variables. Can't start with a number, but it can have a number in it. It can't be a keyword. It can only have A to Z, caps and lowercase, dollar sign and underscore, right, in its name. So, and then parentheses, the keyword void, and a semicolon. Then we got to write it. This goes underneath main. You'll see this in the example. Okay. When we write a function, it has a header, which is the same thing as the decor declaration minus the semicolon plus the body. And then we write the code in here. This is the code block, it's called. And then we have to use it. And we say calling it. If I were to call this function, if the name of the function was name, I would say name with two parentheses, you have to have those, and nothing in the parentheses, followed by a semicolon. All right, so here's an example, and you're gonna see how this works. Here's an example of a type one function called calcsum. The function itself asks a user for two integers, and then it calculates its sum and then outputs them. That's it, it does its thing. Uh, let's see how it works. So nothing new here here pound include IO stream using namespace SCD. Okay, so here's my function declaration for calcsum Void calcsum void semicolon. All right, and here's main Nothing new here Right notice Void itself is a type 1 function now um, This you don't have to declare it because it's declared when the compiler starts um, and the writing gets declared and called when the compiler starts. Matter of fact, it's the first function that's called. That's why your program starts here, right? Your program starts right here, this first line. So in this case, um, oh, and here's the writing of it. Void, calcs on void. Same thing as the declaration without the semicolon. And then here's the thing that the function does. Okay, so here's how the process works. Line one starts in main, C out high, right? So that's an output high, nothing new. Then we get to the next line. Well, that's calling calcsum. So what happens is we jump out of main and we go down here. And it's going to look for calcsum. If there's, again, we can have more than one function here, right? Well, we only have one and it's calcsum. So it finds calcsum here. And then it runs the code in there, line by line. So it's going to output enter two integers. There's my declaration. It's going to get the two integers from the user. And then it's going to output the sum of those in two numbers is, right? Now let's say they entered uh, 8 and 4. It's going to say the sum of those numbers is 12. Skip a line. And then it jumps right back. It's done here. And it jumps back into whoever it was called from, in this case main. And it starts from the next line of code. Continues. In this case, it's a C out by. So it's going to say hi, enter two integers. They enter two integers, the sum of those integers is, whatever those integers are added up, and then it's going to say by. So there's the sample output. Now I could also, I can call this as many times as I want. Right? You don't have to redeclare it or anything. It's already declared once. So if I were to do this, right, it'll output high, it'll call calc sum, it'll jump down here, run that line of code, just like it did here. Um, then it's gonna, when it's done, it jumps back up, it outputs by, and then if I call calcsum again, it just jumps out, runs this again, right? So let's say, then it's gonna output this, right, again. And let's say they enter three and one, right? So the output is whatever. Four. Right? And 
then it jumps back up in here and it continues well this continues the program from there there's nothing there if there was right it would output dog and then end so that's it functions really aren't aren't, aren't that hard they sometimes the functions type 2 um, and type 3 sometimes they're a little more complicated but they're really they're really not and I'll explain them starting to, um, next week. So that's it for today.